So I just want to show you the difference um, between a tractor that's not steer ready and a tractor that's steer ready and the uh, different ways that we can steer them. Um, so we'll have a look at two tractors with our Easy Pilot Pro steering wheel and we'll have a look at a tractor with our uh, can steering and uh, you'll see the difference. So this tractor wouldn't have been steer ready from the factory. So what we've done is we've mounted our nav line 110 on the roof. We've mounted our GFX 750 Trimble display in the cab. But then we've mounted the Easy Pilot Pro uh, electric steering wheel. So it has our SAM 200 motor. This is the anti-rotation bracket to stop it from pivoting. And um, you'll steer normally with your tractor. But when you engage your steering, the steering wheel will take over with the motor. Um, so we've done similar on this New Holland here. So I'll uh, show you it on the New Holland now as well. So T5 New Holland. Nav main 100 antenna on the roof. And we come into the cab. Same, we've got our SAM 200 motor, Easy Pilot Pro steering wheel, and our anti rotation bracket here. All done nice and tidy. And then we've mounted our GFX 750 display. So that's how we've done it on both that Massey Ferguson and this New Holland for our Easy Pilot Pro for tractors that are not steer ready. All these three tractors in are can steer, so they were guidance ready tractors from factory. So they would have had the steering built in on the tractors from factory. Um, when we look at this, I suppose, again, Trimble display mounted, GFX 750, Map 900 on the roof. But we're using the tractor's own steering wheel, which would be the same on this tractor here. So. That's how we've done it, even with a 7718 8S225. But they're all we call can guidance, so they're steer ready from factory.